Hey everyone, welcome to the All Brains Show. I'm Barbara from allbrains.com and we are in for a treat today. We have Sarah Vetzer, brother national educator and side hustler extraordinaire, um, showing us the new print moda fabric printer from Brother. Hey Sarah. Hey Barbara, how are you? Oh, awesome. I can't wait to dig into this more. Um, let's hop on over to the chat real quick and just say hey to some folks that are watching. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, oh, we got uh, Baton Rouge here, Georgia, Odessa, Texas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did you guys know that coming up soon is the Houston International Quilt Festival, November 2nd through the 5th? Ah, more Texans. Yes amazing yes norway karina good to see you atlanta wow i love this australia mississippi they're coming in too fast for me to even click on them sarah wow. <laughs> hi everyone <laughs> oh yes we have someone saying that they're going to be at festival it's november 2nd through the 5th port allen louisiana and at the george r brown convention center in houston texas here are the dates. If you want to learn more information, you can go to allbrands.com slash HQF2023. This is the largest quilt show on the planet. I will be there. Sarah will be there. So many other people are going to be there. Sarah's going to be showing the print moda. We're going to have a, the best deal of the year on the print moda and all brother sewing, embroidery, and quilting machines. We're going to have dime there, reliable irons. I can't wait. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Yes, me too. So um, if you want to get the best deals on a sewing embroidery quilting machine, the best deals of the year, head on over to the Houston International Quilt Festival at the George R. Brown Convention Center. And we just actually came out. I'm going to show them our stage schedule. Yes, you heard me right. We have a stage. Um, and we're going to have so many great folks there. So let me see if I can make it full screen. Ah, it's not as big as I want it to be. Becky Thompson's going to be there. Reen Wilcoxon will be there on Friday. Cindy Hogan, Emily Thompson, our own Courtney Douthat from After Hours. Um, I'll be doing one stage presentation. Barb Mike Lightcheck, Brother National Educator. Sarah Vetzer, Brother National Educator. Colleen Sweatman, Brother National Educator. Alexis Galloway, Brother National Educator. Oh my gosh. If you love brother machines, if you love sewing, quilting, embroidery, any of that, there's so many experts here. Mm -hmm. um, Joe and Jamie from the Reliable Corporation, they have super good quality affordable vacuum boards and ironing systems that are made in Italy. We love them. Anne McCarthy. Eileen Roche and Deborah Jones from Dime are all going to be on our main stage. Um, Marilyn Orantes with the E16. So Steady is going to be there. And SewingMachineProject.org, which we just assisted in a donation for some sewing machines. Uh, that was just really, really cool. I can't wait. I can't, can't wait to be there. Hope you that guys. A star-studded lineup right there. It's like a <laughs> right. It took me like 20 minutes to say all the people. <laughs> like a sewing machine music festival. <laughs> it really is. And that's not just our booth. All yeah. of the major manufacturers are going to be there. We're all competing to have the best deals of the year. And that works out for you guys. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come and see us come and get the best deals and learn a lot, get inspired. It's going to be great. One more announcement at the end of this video, we're going to do a $25 allbrands.com e-gift card. So go ahead and comment hashtag allbrands. And let's see. Oh, look, uh, Karina said, uh, I love my brother machine. I can be the international cheerleader. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, Anne. Anne says, a lot of my favorite people, especially all brands and brother educators and dime. Can't wait to see you. Oh my gosh. So let's get into the print moda. Yes. There's, I'm like, so like, there's so much you can do with this thing. 
Yep. How do I get started? Like, what is there to do on it? <laughs> well, just to get started so everyone knows, this is actually an inkjet ink printer. So the ink that is used to print on the fabric is very familiar. You might recognize it from your office printer at home, CMYK ink. And so what Brother did was they created an inkjet ink printer that has a brand new tray that holds a roll of fabric. So here's my roll of fabric right here. This is 100% cotton, lightweight woven fabric, and it's specially treated to absorb the inkjet ink and give you beautiful, vibrant colors. You can see all of my projects behind me are bright and colorful, that's how I like it. And the real advantage to this, the really, really, really exciting thing about a fabric roll, because we could all go to the store right now, we could buy eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper to put in our inkjet printer at home, but now you're not limited to eight and a half by 11, you can print up to three yards of fabric at once. So it's super exciting because that means you could print full size banners in minutes, not even two minutes, it's less than that. Prints out so quick. You could print wall art and you could get so creative with what you print, sewing projects together, making custom fabric for quilts, it goes on and on. So I'll just dive right in and show you guys some of my samples so we could get inspired. And please, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Barbara, feel free to interrupt me. <laughs> I am here waiting for all of your questions to be the liaison with the master, uh, Sarah Metzer. We did yeah. get a cute comment earlier. Thank you, Sharon, for shopping at All Brands. She just ordered the, her Scanicut 325. From all brands can't wait oh thank you so much you're gonna love it. on the purchase that's an awesome machine now you can actually use the scan and cut with the print moda maybe i'll get into that in a few minutes so you guys can see my banner pretty straightforward <laughs> but awesome vibrant colors prints out when i say not even two minutes i'm not exaggerating it just prints right out and you have a banner in minutes. So another project I did was this iPad cover. I found, this is not my dog, although this is a very cute dog, but I found this photo of a dog painting and I printed it on my print moda and then I quilted it, I added some batting and made an iPad case or sleeve. Imagine. It looks very official. <laughs> It means business. Very professional. Imagine the Christmas gifts, though, with your pets or your family, or your friends' pets or anything. You can print out pictures of their pets and make them anything. I mean, possibilities are endless. It's so fun. Another little sewing project I did was this photo album cover. So I created this little photo in a frame with a piece of tape and I chose the grid design, printed out on my fabric, then cut my pattern pieces and wow. sewed a photo album cover. Wow. Wouldn't that be so special to do all of your albums in your house? Yeah. Put the year on it. It's so cool. Exactly. I did a little applique on this hat here and I'll tell you guys a secret. This was actually an embroidery mess up. We've all had them, right? So I can, I'll show you my ugly inside. You see my messed up, it's supposed to be a hedgehog. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a stitch dense design, right? <laughs> yeah, it was probably not wise to put it on a hat. And I learned the hard way. But I made my own custom fabric with print moda. I printed it out and I saved the hat by putting an applique patch on top of my mess up. That's smart. I love patches so much. Me too. And I love being sustainable. So if it means that I don't have to throw that hat out, I'm all for it. <laughs> all right. This is another one that I just started working on. It's 
literally still wet, but I'm going to show it to you guys. I put together a little collage of photos and a print design and a little graphic design here. And it's a mouse pad. Wow. How did you adhere the fabric to the base? Maj Posh. Oh, perfect. All of that. So again, <laughs> it's still in process. But what I did so far was I put the Maj Posh down on the plain mouse pad. And then I laid my fabric on top, trimmed around the edge. And now I'm just letting it dry. And then once it's dry, I'm going to do another layer on top. And we'll see how that goes. Wow, I love it. Yeah. Did you use the vinyl for the um, for the mouse pad, the vinyl cover? That one I didn't because I think the vinyl would get a little sticky on your okay. computer mouse. Ah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it as, you know, fabric and a little bit of Maj Podge, which will kind of lock it in. Cool. We did get one question, and I'm sure you're going to get the, to this. Yeah. But uh, Lana says, can you do normal printing on the printer? Yes, you can. So wow. let me speak to that for a minute. So this does function as a standard office printer. So if you want to print documents at home or concert tickets or what, do, I don't know, what do people print out these days? But whatever you need to print, you can print it here. There is a dedicated paper tray. Paper tray number one. And this probably looks familiar. It has the sliding sides to adjust to the size of paper you'd like to print. You can put photo paper in here and print photos at home. Because again, this is inkjet ink. It's not using fabric ink. It uses inkjet, which is standard for paper printing and printing on photo paper at home. So anything that you would normally do on a printer at home, you can do with the print moda plus print on fabric. It will connect wirelessly to your computer. I was just testing that function out today. So far, I've been really busy printing on fabric and having so much fun with that. <laughs> but today, I wanted to test out the paper printing. So I connected it to my computer. It was super easy, wireless. And I was able to actually, I printed out one of my pieces of art that I made. So I drew this digitally in the computer and I printed it right from my laptop to the printer on fabric actually that's what I was testing out so you can select which tray you want to print from if you want to print paper that's tray one and if you'd like to print something from your computer on fabric tray two you let it know that you're printing on fabric it prints it and there's even an automatic trimmer in the machine, so it cuts it to size for you. I love it. Yeah. We're getting a lot of questions in. I don't want to, because I know you're going to go over, so I'm going to save some till the end. Okay. Um, so um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about like how how it works and what you can do with it? But guys, sure. don't don't worry. I I do see your questions. <laughs> So um, I'll show you guys also that the roll of fabric has a backing on it. That's this shiny material that you're seeing here. So the backing helps to feed it through the machine so that you don't get any bumps or wrinkles in your print as it's feeding through and printing. But then once it comes out, it can be easily peeled away. And then there's no adhesive. This is nice and smooth and your fabric is ready to go. So once it comes out, you let it dry for 15 minutes and it's good to go. The fabric is specially treated again to absorb those inks. So that's how you get these beautiful, vibrant colors. And photos print out so nice on here. These are some stock photos. They're professional photos and they just, they look beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting a lot of questions coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and start asking them. That's okay. Terry Maffet. Hey, Terry. Good to see you. Will the color fade from the print? I love your mouse pad and the iPad case. Thank you. So the reason you will you may have picked up on my samples are mostly items that will not be washed regularly. Um, you can absolutely wash the fabric. We recommend cold water and air drying. 
But the best use for these fabrics are projects that might not be worn and washed very frequently. So basically, we don't recommend apparel, but everything else is green light, go for it, try it out. Um, it does wash beautifully. We've been hearing great things about the color, you know, fastness. It, it holds really nicely to the fabric because of the way that the fabric is treated. Um, just be careful to wash it alone because of the way the fabric is treated, it will actually absorb colors from your other clothing items. So if you wash it with a red shirt, it'll kind of catch that color. So you just wanna wash it by itself in cold water and you'll be good to go. Cool. Okay, we have one customer that said, I love mine, but can I print say something five by seven? So can you print any size? So there is a minimum printing size, the minimum amount that you can print is 8.27 inches. So if you wanted to print something five by seven, you absolutely could, but you would end up with a couple of inches of white space on that page because you have to at least print 8.27 inches. Got it, because that's the width. No. no. The, the width is 11.69. Right, and okay. Then, and then the length of a roll is five yards. You can print three yards without stopping or cutting. That's the maximum. And then the minimum is 8.27 inches. It'll always be 11.69 inches wide because you can't adjust the width of the printer. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, very cool. All right, Lana asks, can you print, did you print your banner in two pieces? No, not at all. The banner is one piece. It comes straight out. It's a, just over 50 inches and it's just one piece. And again, there's a built-in trimmer. So the machine, the printer cuts it for me at the end and it came out just like that. All I did to that banner is add the little, you could see tiny little circles in the corner. I embroidered eyelets so that I would be able to tie it up if I wanted to. Oh, you are so smart. <laughs> and <laughs> we have one more and I'm going to save the rest till later. Um, will it crack if you dry it, the fabric? No, no nice. it won't. <laughs> In the dryer, I think is what she said. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's learn more about it. Okay. So the printer is really powered by Brothers Art Spirit app. So I'm going to bring up the app now and let's dive right into this. So if you haven't heard about it, Brothers Art Spear app is a free app to use on your mobile phone or your tablet. It works for Apple or Android, so there's no restrictions there. And there is so much to do on here. Barbara, you and I could do a four-hour session just talking. <laughs> right? Art Getting Spear. started is the hardest part, but it does come with some tutorials and like projects in the box, right? So if, when you get it, you can do something with it. With the printer, can. yes. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. And then on the Art Spirit app, there's the monthly magazine that they're all beginner projects. So there's lots of fun stuff to get to. Right now, they're focused on embroidery and cutting projects because this app is not just for Print Moda Studio. It's for your embroidery machine and your scan and cut and Print Moda Studio. So I will focus in on the Print Moda uh, functions that are in this app. So the top bar right here that I'm scrolling on has a section called printing designs. And that's where all of our printing templates live. So you'll see my banner is that I have printed behind me is one of the built-in templates in the app, free to use. Once you tap on it, previews it for you in a cute little living room. And then you can check the dimensions of it. So like I said, it's 51 inches in, wet, in width. I can create it. And then tap on each of these elements, and I have lots of editing options available. So when I go to change, I can select a different font. I can go to my keyboard, type in whatever name I need to. I can even change the font color. Quick, easy editing functions to customize all the projects that are in here. 
there is an entire section of bags and pouches, and these are full tutorials. So when you select any one of these projects, it gives you your materials list. It gives you the printing data, so you can click right on it, print it out, and that's what you're going to use to sew your pouch. Then you can continue through all the steps until you get your finished pouch. That's super cute. Right? What else? Okay. So much stuff in here. I just want to pick out the best things to show you guys. Let's see. Well, let's talk about the included patterns. So there is a huge library of included patterns that are free to use again in the app. And it's some of the ones that I've been showing you so far. Vibrant, vibrant colors. Fun prints. Love our doggies. <laughs> And I'll show you some more editing tools. You can pick out these different patterns. You can edit them further. You can just print a little bit of yardage for a project. Lots to play with in here. This is another one I love, the sweet treat. So one of the features in here, if we want to move away from the templates, which we can definitely, there's a lot more to see in there. We could come back to those if we have more questions about that. But if we go down to the new plus sign at the bottom and go to our printing tab, we can select geometric patterns. And this is a really fun feature. So I can select my size. And then I could either choose from a built-in pattern or an image from my device. So this will pull all the images that are on your device so you can use them and print your own family photos just like that. They're right here at your fingertips. So under pattern, let's see if I could find my sweet treats here. There they are. Now, geometric pattern is kind of like a kaleidoscope effect. So when you pick your pattern, it chooses a piece from that pattern and it kaleidoscopes it to make a brand new pattern. So as you choose these different pieces of the pattern, you could see my fabric is changing and it's really just pieces of the larger pattern that are repeating. Absolutely love this feature because you can take those built-in patterns you could take your own images or your own artwork and you can create something that matches it perfectly but gives a completely different look. So you could see my tiny little donuts and cupcakes in there. And then these two would go so well in a project together, whether it's quilting or sewing in a photo album cover, you name it. So I love that tool. And when you get into using your own images in here, that's really fun. Like talk about talk about fun pet projects, right? Again, <laughs> this is not my dog. I don't have a dog, but let's use this dog photo I have in here. And we can choose one that kind of shows his little face. Let's see. That's not his face. Oh, goodness. That's precious. Right. <laughs> and not just pets. You, if you have grandkids, family members, um, like a, a group that you're part of, mm -hmm. your quilt guild, that would be so cool. It's so fun. And then you can go into the, the piece and you can scale it even further. So... Um, this was one that I did with a bouquet of flowers. I chose my piece that has, I like that big pink flower. And then I can go down to size and I can scale it up or scale it down. And it, again, it just keeps changing the look of the fabric. And then you have your own custom fabric out of your own images. Um, 
yeah, your family's faces, your friends' faces. So much fun. So this is how. And you're never going to get the same one again, which is a really cool part about this function. So I've played with this exact image in the geometric patterns feature several times, and I always get a different result at the end. So this was another one that I did. Again, you can see how bright those colors are and just print it out really beautifully. One of the ways I used my custom fabric was to make a little bookmark, made up a book club name, and then put my custom fabric on the back of the bookmark there. Wow, so you can really say, I made this, I made the fabric. <laughs> I embroidered it and I quilted it and maybe scan a cut at the same time. That's really yep. amazing. Yep, so much fun. So are there any other questions you wanna give me at this point or should I keep rolling? Oh yeah, we have tons. So let me come back in. <laughs> All right, Sun Country Girl Designs wants one. We have them in stock. They're free shipping. You get 50% uh, off of a roll if you buy it from all brands uh, for a bundle. And yeah, definitely awesome. get it while it's hot. Yes. Uh, Barbara Jones says she's counting the days to Houston International Quilt Festival. Does anyone else count the days? Can you believe it's 20 days away? Wow. I My can't goodness. believe it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So can you explain what the width and the length is on it? Yeah. So yes, the the width limit is 11.6 inches, right? Because that's the width of our printer. So you can't make the printer any bigger than it is. And our length limit is three yards. So that is quite a large limit. Um, and it's really impressive. It's <laughs> definitely... The coolest thing about this printer is that you are not limited in length. You can print up to three yards. Barbara Jones says, I'm seeing edge to edge printing. Is that correct? Or is the print area uh, narrower than the fabric roll? You can print edge to edge. That is correct. Woo! <laughs> we have a print moda owner, Shelly Cox. I love my print moda. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> oh, I wanted to let everyone know. We have a um, Facebook group. Um, it is, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat, but I would like to invite everyone, even if you don't own a print moda, uh, there's a lot of like-minded people in there, um, but you will have a print moda one day. Let's just be honest <laughs> because it's awesome. Uh, so go ahead and, um, you know, save that link in the chat and, uh, Request to join our print moda group so that you can talk to us and also other users. I have to join that group. That sounds Ooh. awesome. <laughs> I will send you the link. I saw awesome. Cindy Hogan in there um, answering some questions over the weekend. So I really appreciated that. Nice. Anne says, I'd never get anything done playing with that. You would get a lot done, and it does a lot. <laughs> yep. Let's see here. I think that's all we have for now. Okay. Just a lot of comments. Looks fun to play with. It is. Loving it. <laughs> it's so much fun. So I'll just talk a little bit about how you can use the printer in conjunction with your other brother machines, because brother did a really good job of tying everything together in that sense. So I'll go back to my home screen here and back into my printing designs, This is these are where my templates are. Let's look a little bit closer and we'll go to the combination category. Now underneath each of these project thumbnails, there are tiny little icons that represent the scan and cut, an embroidery machine and a printer. So Artspira works with any brother wirelessly enabled embroidery machines. And I'm not going to get too carried away with everything that's on the app that you could use for embroidery, but let's just say there's hundreds of free designs that you could use for embroidery specifically. When it comes to print moda, a lot of these projects will incorporate 
a printing part, an embroidery part, and then the scan and cut will cut the project out for you or it will cut out an element that you can also add to the project. So you can just have all your machines set up and use each and every one of them to make a really fun project. So let's take a look at this Merry Christmas design here. This is scan and cut and printing. So once we tap on it, again, it will show us the dimensions. Go to create. We can edit a few different elements in here. Once you start playing on the app, and by the way, you don't have to have a printer to play with the app. You don't have to even have a brother machine or a scan and cut to play with the app. You can download it and you can browse through all of these designs and get project ideas totally free. Once you have the app, you can start making the projects. That's the fun part. But to get you inspired, feel free to download the app and take a look. So when you're playing around down here, you could just tap around all the different elements and you'll be able to edit different things for each project. When we go to done, there are two tabs at the top, one for print. So it shows us that the print moda is going to print out the tree element and the Merry Christmas. And then on the cutting side, we are going to be able to cut out the gingerbread men and the snowflakes and the little hats that way we can arrange them how we'd like on our tree for a finished project. So that's one way that you can use the printer and the scan and cut together. I love that. We mm -hmm. just got a few more questions coming in. Great. What a request. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see here. Um, here's one thing from Lana. Uh, that is a suggestion for a wash you might want to try. So Bubble Jet Set 2000. I haven't personally tried it, but thanks, Lana, for the tip. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's see. We did get a request. Oh, here, here's a question. Dee Dee says, can it be used with other machines, Bernina or Faf? It cannot. It is brother exclusive. Yeah, but you can still purchase the printer Use Artspira, print your fabric, and then sew it together on any brand of machine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I thought that she was asking <laughs> specifically about Artspira. Yeah. So Artspira is just for Brother Wireless machines. Yes. Here is one request from a Facebook user. I have one, but I'd like to learn more about making a quilt label. Well, I was just about to show that. So let's go. <laughs> suggestion. All right, so we'll go right into our labels category. Now, these are all of our quilt label designs. We can scroll through them. They recently, with the new app update, kind of broke them up into different sections. So let's see. I really love this floral one. So in here, uh, what Brother did with these templates was instead of designing a template where you had to print eight inches or eight and a half inches, but you only had one little quilt label in the corner, they took advantage of that minimum print size and created these templates that have four or six quilt labels printed at once, but they made them individually editable so you could change the name on each label and not have to print six for one person all at once. So it's perfect. There are different size options for different labels. So this one has a small and a medium size option. And the dimensions are telling you the individual dimensions of each label. So I'm going to press create and we'll go with the small label. And there you go. You have six of them on one page. And if I just zoom in here, I can tap on the text. I don't love that color, so I could change it to a darker blue. And of course, I could change the name. Okay, and then you can save everything you do. Um, for the free version, you could save up to 20 different projects and fabric patterns. 
And if you go with the subscription option, which just became available, you could save 100 projects. Okay. Now, this is where the scan and cut comes into play again. So right here, we have a little target, and that is going to scan into our scan and cut machine. And on my cut tab here, you can see there are my label squares. So once I scan it into the scan and cut, these squares will snap to my design and then the scan and cut will perfectly cut out my labels. How about that? That is so cool and so easy. You made it so easy. <laughs> it is easy. There's really nothing to it. <laughs> Here's one question from Ellen. Can you take a print design in Artsphera and turn it into an embroidery design? Hmm. Not a print mode of question, but an art spirit question. Can you take a print design? You can, I know you can take a line design, right? With the subscription, they have some new digitizing on there, right? Have you yeah. tried the new subscription? I have, I haven't played around with the embroidery part as much, but like you said, there's image to embroidery. So I imagine that that will convert an image to embroidery to some degree. I haven't tried it yet. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, we did go into it and there's so much cool stuff. Like the free version is awesome. Like you can do a whole lot with it. But like if you want 7,000 embroidery designs, go ahead and click that subscription. You know, it's not much more than a cup of coffee a month and it's totally worth it. They have, they have, uh, it's like digitized, um, photo stitch in there. That's really, that's like a thousand dollar program that you'd have to buy that they're letting you get as a subscription. Yeah. For $12. No brainer. <laughs> <laughs> no brainer on my Yes, there's so much fun stuff that was added. I've just been, I still haven't gotten through all the new printing designs that have been added in here. Aww. Well, what else do you have to show us? Let's see. Well, I can speak a little bit to how easy it is to connect to your printer, because I know some of us can be a little worried about that, but it could not be easier to connect to your printer and start printing from the Artsphere app. When you go to your machines in the top right hand corner, before you have your printer connected under the creative printer section, it will say connect creative printer. If your phone or your device that you're using with Artspira is connected to the same wireless network as your new printer, it'll find it in, I think mine literally took two seconds to find it and you're connected and you're ready to print. But let's do a test print so you guys can see how it works and hear how quiet it is, because that's really impressive. Yeah, I'd love to see it in action. Awesome. All right. Let's, do we have any requests for what to print? <laughs> uh, let me check the comments. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. We could print out a cute dog. Yeah, let's get some, uh, y'all chime in in the, in the chat and let us know. Oh, here's something cool. Tina said, can you print something with your own handwriting? Um, maybe do a, an image and then squiggle a line on it and <laughs> we'll see. If you, can you add that? So you can, if you wanted to print something with your own handwriting, you could write something physically on a piece of paper, take a picture, and then print that it from. Makes, yeah, because whenever I use my pen on my um, iPad, it's, it's not as good as me writing on paper. So that's way smarter, Sarah. <laughs> that's just how I would do it. I am also horrible at drawing on my phone. Like, on the app using a style. I just You're try to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> okay, we got one request for cats and one for llamas. Well, all right. <laughs> I have my llama looking really cool right here. So I'm going to go with the llama for today. 
So this was in my illustration section and anything that you're seeing here that has a little crown icon in the corner is part of that subscription that Barbara and I were just chatting about. Yeah. So I'm going to select him. But that's not to say like if you don't opt for the subscription that you can't draw your own image. Of course, don't use copyright and sell, um, but you can take an image of something and bring it in if it's Absolutely. not necessarily in the app. Right. Um, that's actually how I made my little photo album cover that I was showing you guys. I used a different editing software on the web um, and created that whole design, saved it as an image, put it yeah. on my phone, and then I was able to print it directly from the app. So you can absolutely do so many things outside of that. Absolutely. Haha. -ha. Did you get <laughs> it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so cheesy. I am so cheesy sometimes. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So another really cool part of the update is that you can now actually create an entire collage right in the app. Before the most recent update, you were only able to add one element at a time to your printing area, but now you can add a background and multiple images on top. And that's how I created my mouse pad here. This uh, little green polka dot pattern is one of the built-in patterns in the app. So I added that as the background. I added my two photos. I was able to scale them and position them wherever I wanted on the page. And then I added, this is one of the illustration designs that's in the app. So it's really easy. Um, and so it's like there are options for everyone, right? If you prefer to design off of the app and just load it in and print it, you can do that. If you don't want to design on another design software or another app, then you can do it right in the Artspirit app. So whatever level you're comfortable with, you can make it work with this app. So we did have one question. Can you do the multiple backgrounds with the free version? Yes, you can. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I just want to add some kind of background to my wall. Looks... Yes. That's fun. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to make him a little, a little more blue. So then these are more, the, I'll show you guys some of the editing that I was talking about, might as well, right? So you can add text in. Oh, cool. Drag it right down. And you have different fonts in there too. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. So I can go to font. Again, the crown ones are the ones that are in the subscription, but there's lots of free ones to choose from. Then they didn't take anything away from Artspira. They just added a whole lot yeah. and made an optional subscription. They did add so much. Yeah, and it's not required to use the print moda you can totally use all the free stuff or just bring in your own images or artwork. Yep. Um, but the subscription is cool. And I, I think it's worth it for sure. That's so fun. <laughs> Barbara said, Barbara Jones said, um, oh my gosh. She said something like brother's so good to me. I think it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Here's a question from, um, Krissa, mm -hmm. can you bring in a design from a USB? So you can print photos from a USB. So if you if the design that you're thinking of can be saved as a JPEG, which is a standard photo file type, then there is a USB port right here and you can save it to your USB and print it right here. Okay. And you, you can also hook up a computer wirelessly to print to tray mm -hmm. one. Or two. I'll get them confused. Both. both. You, you can print to both. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just one. No. Nope. Okay. Well, thank you. Of course. That's what I just tested out, you know, like an hour or so ago, where I grabbed my artwork from my computer to see if I could print on fabric from my computer. And you can. 
it printed it on fabric, it even trimmed it for me. So all of those functions still work from your computer. Anne says, here's this is what I was talking about earlier. I feel like brother has been so good to me. I'm signing up for the subscription. Well, that's your option, Anne. I signed up for it and I played around with it with Courtney and it's pretty cool. It's so fun. <laughs> okay. I think I'm happy with my llama. Just to show you guys how to add a photo though, I would just go to the plus sign choose camera roll, but you can also choose printing data, which would bring you back into all of the designs that are in the app and add, you could add another llama if you wanted to. If I wanted to add a photo, I just go into my device images, it drops it right in. I can move it around, I can scale it up. And that's how you can create your very own collages right in the app. And again, it's so easy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save my llama. And now I'm going to hit done. It has my printer selected. In my print settings, that's where I can turn on borderless printing. So I have that turned on. And then you have two print quality options. You have fine and eco mode. I have printed the same exact image with both and you cannot tell the difference. So I always use eco mode because it uses less ink. So let's press print and I'm gonna zip the lips so you can listen to the printer work. It makes a little bit of noise to start up and then it gets really quiet as it's printing. Then you'll hear a little click, click, click noise at the end and that's the trimmer trimming the fabric for us. So let's do it. Also, it tells you how much fabric you need. This will change. This comes up anytime you print something and it will tell you what length you need in your roll for the specific project that you're printing. It's just an extra step to say, hey, make sure you have enough fabric in there. While you're printing, Sarah, we did get a question. Can you load the program on your computer? I see you just using an iPhone. It's a good question from DD. That is. Um, you cannot use it on your computer. It's just made for phones and tablets. So you can use it on your iPad if you need a bigger screen. The one thing I have found with borderless is that it does take a little bit of extra time to print. With um, if we had printed with a border, it would have been done like 30 seconds ago. So <laughs> if you opt for that, it takes a little bit longer. Here's one from Krissa. Using the paper tray, can you print different size papers? Yes, you can. That's Those were the little adjustable sliders that I was showing you guys um, that adjust to all different paper sizes. And I can... I'll just Oh yeah, perfect. So it, oops, where am I? There I am. it shows you the different sizes here and you can just adjust the sliders to whatever size you need. So here's a question from me. You can use Artspira for the app and an iPad. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm speechless now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's cute, right? So cute. And you could make that into a bag or. Mm -hmm. oh, that's We did do the border on the side, but I know I printed a. Um, I printed this fabric piece earlier and I, I went borderless and there was no border. So I guess it depends on what you're printing. This is one of the built in patterns. It's so beautiful. Oh, it is gorgeous. And it does have nice drape to it, just like your 
regular quilting cottons. Yes. Clovis says a pouch. I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Krista asks, can you use pre-cut fabric sheets? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Karen asks, does it have a pass-through for a larger paper than eight and a half by 11, I guess? Well, it does have this. I'm, I'm not sure if this is called a pass-through, but it has this um, additional tray in the back here. Ah. It looks like... I mean, it looks like it goes up to A5 paper size. Okay. Yeah. You see, the EDU team has never dealt with printers before. It's always been, but now we're learning right? all about Well, brother knows a whole lot about printers, obviously. Yes. So <laughs> I'm really excited that us crafters get to have our own fabric printer. Here's one from Amy. Is the fabric soft? It is. Um, it's here. We love nice back. Cotton. cotton has a nice drape to it it really does yeah i wouldn't say it's not soft like silk but it's a really good fabric for a wide variety of uses cool well i have some saved questions if you'd like to um answer some things oh sure, yes all right. And I took the good with the bad. So let's just be prepared. We're here to educate everyone. Uh, let's see. Here's one from Krissa. Um, hello from Missouri. Hello. Curious why they did not use tank style for the inks. Do you know? Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Hopefully that'll be something that they'll add in the future. But for now, I mean, I will say. These inks, the standard ones, mm -hmm. and take my um, my phone down for a second. The standard inks that are in here will last you for 35 yards of fabric. So these can go quite the distance. That's seven rolls of fabric. Again, the fabric rolls come in five yards. So seven rolls of fabric you'll be able to print with one set of inks. Yeah. So and I read online it's 5.4 yards. And I think in the specs that we have, it's like 3,000 prints for the black and like 13 to 1,500 for the colors. Because black, you obviously use a lot more. Yes, you're right. It is 5.4 yards. Sweet. More. We always want more. <laughs> Here is one from... Oh, and I got to say hey to our new members. Kitty, I love your needle and thread. Thank you for joining our <laughs> YouTube uh, special group. And Fran, good to see you too. Um, let's see. Miss or Mr. in Harmon uh, asked, what is the price of the printer? Very good question. So you will find this online on our website, allbrands.com. It's $999 with free shipping. You can also opt for 0% financing. Uh, I believe we're offering six months on that. And when you purchase it on our website, you can get half off of a additional uh, fabric roll. It comes with a trial roll in the box. Um, also in the box, you get all of the ink, you get um, the trial fabric roll, which is one and a half yards, and you get a project book with that. So, and inspiration and the free art spirit download. So yes. that's really exciting. <laughs> Good questions. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, Karen, is brother coming out with a sublimation printer? Mm, I yeah. something about that. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, it's not out yet. Um, we did get to see it at Brother, um, but it's not the same. Like sublimation is a chemical process for different Trans things. And it, it's not the same as fabric printing, which this does the best job of. Um, here we go. 
Sandra says, can you save a geometric pattern so that you can print the same pattern again later? Of course, of course. So let's, I'll show you my phone again. So I will show you where all of my geometric patterns are saved. If I go into new in my printing tab, once you go into geometric pattern, you create your design and you save it, you'll go into design editor, choose what you, the size or the length that you'd like to print, then fill with my pattern. And these are the patterns that you created in geometric it's so, so easy. Oh, my goodness. So if you guys haven't yet, go ahead and comment hashtag all brands because we're going to be having to end this pretty soon. We have up just a few more minutes. So um, comment hashtag all brands and um, get uh, a chance to win. All right. Here's one from Cindy. Question. Say I want to use a custom made fabric off of the print moda to line a bag or a purse. Would I need to wash or set the colors so that they don't rub off? Yes, I would definitely wash it first before you sew it into the bag. Um, yeah, and I would just be careful with what you put in there. Like, don't use, I mean, does anyone have a white wallet? I don't think so, but no. you know, I wouldn't throw anything white inside. Okay, here's one from Brenda. I showed this to a new sewist today. I showed her how the machines can work together. She was awestruck. I can't wait to see where her sewing journey takes her. Amazing. <laughs> oh, here's one from Dee Dee. I think that we already answered this, but I thought it was funny. So cool. I bet it sucks up your ink. How much ink do you go through for a project? Let's start with a small project. So you can actually do quite a bit um, up to 3,000 prints with the black, and I think 13 to 1,500 on the color. I'll yep. have to look. Can't remember the exact number, but that was approximately that. I mean, I can tell you guys I've gone through several rolls already, just making samples for everyone and making my own samples. And I can check my ink levels on here. And I'm not even halfway through my colored inks, so... Going strong. Very cool. Oh, hey, Bruce. Bruce won recently, I think, the gift card. Oh, my wife wants this. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Does the heat setting help with the cracking? Crocking is, um, yeah, crocking is a term that describes dye rubbing off on something else. And, you know, I, I say that heat setting can't hurt. Um, but one of my fellow educators um, mentioned that because it's a pigment ink, that heat setting might not actually help um, to have it set into the fabric. So I would just test it out. And um, like one of our viewers said, there are different aftermarket products you could use to kind of help lock in the colors. But we've heard really great things about the color fastness. You know, a lot of people have tested it through multiple washes and it hasn't been fading and that's due to the way that the fabric is pre-treated before you print on it in the printer. It, it's treated to lock in those colors. Very cool. And I know Brother's been working on this for quite some time. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, here's one from Deborah. Could you apply the vinyl to the lining? There is a vinyl available for the print moda. Yes, you could. And that will help with uh, if you're concerned about any dye rubbing off. But again, we really haven't heard any complaints about dye rubbing off. So yeah, that's just, you know, a warning that we put out there, but <laughs> I'm not sure it's necessary. I think it's brother's legal department. Maybe they're yeah, like, probably. if there's any chance that it rubs <laughs> off on them. Yeah. Let, as as long as you let, it, let it dry for 15 minutes once it comes out of the printer Give it a good wash by itself in cold yeah. water before you sew with it and should be good to go. <laughs> Bruce says she'll get it too. <laughs> I hope that Bruce, you call us or come to the show, the Houston show, because we will have the best price of the year um, on the print moda there. So um, yes, get her that printer. 
Uh, Dabra asks, where do you get the ink? You can purchase that from allbrands.com. Um, you can come into our retail stores and purchase more ink. Good question. Oh my goodness. Here's one last, because we're right at an hour. Oh my goodness. Uh, so here are some of the husband persuasion tools. It's quite so, it's quiet, so it won't interfere with TV watching. Its footprint is the same as a regular printer and happy wife, happy life. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I tell people they should, if you have a color printer at home, sell it, make a couple hundred dollars, buy one of these and you could do paper printing and fabric printing. This All makes in. my heart happy. Oh my goodness. All right. Are y'all ready to do a giveaway? I'm ready. All right. Let me share my screen. And we have, if you haven't yet, comment hashtag all brands because we are getting ready to push that button. And here we go. Let's see who's going to be the lucky winner for today for a $25 allbrands.com e gift card. It's going to be. Roxanne, congratulations. Oh my gosh, you need to print that on fabric. Your <laughs> picture <laughs> is so fun with your family. Oh love my goodness, it. I love it. So go ahead and email me at events at allbrands.com your name, number, and address to claim your $25 e gift card. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. You're amazing. I can't wait to see you at Houston Colt Festival. I'm so excited. And we are going to just have so much fun with Print Moda Studio, those few days. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to think of a term because we always say we're going to cut up with a scan and cut. What are we going to say for Print Moda? If I think love of... creative printing with Print Moda. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Light up. No, not light up. Color your world or something like that. <laughs> yes. It's going to be great. All right. Well, we love y'all so much. We'll see you at Houston Quilt Festival, November 2nd through the 5th. With Thanks, everyone. Yes. And thank you, Sarah. You're amazing. Bye. Bye. Bye.